She Hulk, attorney at law this week. Jen has to get a suit, uh, which is, I guess, yeah. the B, the B storyline is her getting a suit with uh, those two cronies, uh, her paralegal. And then who is that guy? I know I've seen him in something else. He's been a lot. He's just the that guy. He's just the that guy. He's a, I think yeah. He's like, I'm looking it up, but she has a legal battle with Titania, who is using the name She Hulk, and okay. they have to prove that uh, Jen began to use the name prior to, and it's like a whole thing. It's a, it's very courtroomy. Uh, and there's not yeah, a whole yeah. lot of um, not a whole lot of action no. in this particular episode. I, th- um, yeah. So what uh, what's your take on on She Hulk this week? So like we just, I like we discussed last week. I like this. I like when it's just the courtroom drama. Like because mm-hmm. this is originally what we thought it was going to be. Yes, Let me Brent. jump in. He is. Um, yeah. He's one of the COs, correctional officers, Stavanovic on Orange Is the New Black. That's what I know him from. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yep. I've never seen Orange Is the New Black. But he's in a lot of other things too. Okay. Um. You ever seen Orange Is the New Black? I have not seen it. No. That surprises it me. Good. It seems like it's probably something in your wheelhouse. So many things. There's so many things out there. Um, I really like this. I like the courtroom drama. I like how it was brought back to her, like, well, I'm She Hulk just on my, you know, my app. And right. that's the thing. And like the guy that her, her like main dude was like, you know what? I'm just digging the She Hulk. I don't really care about Jen. Right. And I thought that was really cool. I thought that was like, I, I hate this term and I don't really want to use it, but I'm going to fucking say it, even though I say it maybe three times a year. It was woke Ugh. and like, and I hate it. Oh, God, I just threw up my mouth and I hate saying it. Like, I don't know if I've ever actually said it, but it was like using that term in the correct way of like, what we see on the internet is kind of what guides us. And I thought this show was just very prevalent and like made a bunch of sense, very prescient of the moment, which is what we thought She Hulk was going to be. We thought it was going to touch on what is happening in the real world yeah. where like a lot of Avengers movies stuff we really like is on the, it just doesn't matter. It could be 20 years ago, it'd be 20 years in the future. Honestly, it doesn't matter, you know, but this show is very much now is very much of the present. And I think this show's kind of hidden in its wheelhouse. I really liked this episode. I thought it was smart. Um, I thought it was cool how she like changed in the mid episode because the guy likes she hulk more i thought that was cool it's like in it's like the body like being comfortable with your body thing too which is like you know i have my pros and cons with that but i will say that it was just like now it feels like jen's being more comfortable with like being she hulk and understanding that that can be a thing and like she can still be attractive um and so be it because i think that's the thing like that's the thing. The, mo- the movies are just like everybody's hot because they're superheroes, you know. But like, she has a little bit of like self deprecation about herself. And then she becomes Sea Hulk. She Hulk as even more because she's big and she's green. But it's like, but then this guy who's attractive really likes her for being She Hulk. And it's like, he, and this is going into the psychological thing, he likes her for what she actually is. But, she, and, but, he, but he doesn't because he likes her for no, She-Hulk, because she's not... actually She Hulk now. But she is She Hulk now. That's what she is. And because they made the joke about, oh, yeah, you're a lawyer. You're a lawyer. And that's like, that's a joke, but she's not really a lawyer anymore. She is She Hulk. Like, because, yes, yeah, she can defend court cases, but at the end of the day, she can also just kick every ass in the room and take care of business that way. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I, I do think that the Titania thing was actually pretty funny, too. It feels like a real court case. These shows, I always hoped were going to be like Judge Judy cases, and now they are. <laughs> and I think that is actually awesome. I think that is awesome 
yes, this show is not a 10 out of 10, but it's what we wanted. We wanted yeah. half hour courtroom cases, and it's not even that. These just episodes are like 25 minutes. Yeah. They fly by, and I think it, I personally for me, I think these shows are doing what they're supposed to do. If this evolves into other things, they are like, oh, she's an Avenger. Oh, eventually she'll be an Avenger. I don't even care about that. It's just like, I like her as regular Jen. I think that when she becomes She-Hulk, it's like she's actually more comfortable in that character uh, as a, you know, whatever it is. I think this show is like really growing on me. I, I honestly do. I think it really is. Like fungus. Like, it's just, I've been affected by, you know, ray, gamma rays. And I am too. I think sick. Better than, I would uh, want to do that. Better than being infected by the cordyceps virus. Yeah, it, but honestly, you want to be bitten right by a radioactive spider. I mean, if you if you had to choose. Yeah. yeah. Or if you're you just Captain America. Actually, nah, that's nah, probably the... Doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it for you? Captain, being Captain America. I'm not a big right? Captain America guy. You know, like being like super strong and yeah. like hot. I'd rather be Batman. Batman's but like Captain, the one. Captain America like, nah. could kick. In all essence, Captain America could kick Batman's ass. No, false. I'm talking hand to hand. No, no, absolutely wrong. Hand to hand combat. Yes. Excuse me. What did you? What was the hand word? Hand combat. Combat. Hand to hand combat. I was like, I was like, I, was like, I was really, I felt like I swam out of the alley. Batman has enough time to prepare. He can beat anyone. Period. I'm talking. I'm. I won't disagree with you on end that. Of, I'm talking like discussion. a straight street fight. Straight street. Yeah, fight. I like Batman's odds. Against Captain America. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty tough. He's like he's like apex human with a cool frizz. But Batman is still human. Okay, let's just you know what? This isn't what yeah, this I'm is. Sorry. About. Yeah, I'm so sorry. we could That's yeah. another Tell um, us you want to talk about that though. What'd you think, Brian? Oh, uh, this episode was a slight step back for me. Okay. I still liked it, All but right. I didn't think that it was. This was kind of like I said with Game uh, House of the Dragon, kind of a connecting episode. <laughs> I'm it sorry. Was kind of, it was kind of a connector <laughs> episode because I do think that, and she alludes to it at the end of the court hearing that Titania, th- it's not over between the two of them. And right, I think right, that right. there is going to, that. that is the, probably what the final conflict of the show is. Um, not necessarily on title unfolding. boss. Yeah, not necessarily on unfolding in a courtroom though. I didn't really like. So last week we we both stated that we liked the primary storyline, which was the Donny Blaze magic thing. Right, yeah. that was like yeah, with with Madison, who's like yeah. an internet sensation now with two ends and one Y, but not where you not would where think. You think. Um, we like that. And then with the, the dating app as being mm. kind of the, the, the secondary story. And so the pattern here seems to be that when the primary story is her in the courtroom and the secondary story is her doing something else that fits in snug the episodes are pretty good but for me when the primary story is her doing courtroom stuff and then her these side characters going on like a little bit of a side quest it's not quite as fun and i didn't really like the clothing design character he was a little bit too over the top yeah that was too much and it really felt like that whole storyline was just for the stinger at the end where you see the daredevil helmet or mask whatever Mm -hmm. so i just felt like this was this was just a setup episode like it didn't necessarily it didn't really move forward anything it it did kind of maybe show that she's getting more comfortable being she hawk and it maybe showed that kind of dichotomy, especially with Titania being this sort of like internet influencer, like you said, it's touching on things that are relevant right now. But I didn't, I didn't dislike it. I still liked the episode, but I did not like it as much as last week's episode. And I thought there was some rough CGI in this episode too. It was rusty. I will say I watched this on my phone. 
Yeah. So it's a lot tar- tougher to see CGI on your phone, even though I have a great phone. It's just still tougher. Than- yeah. So that's what I mean. There, there was like a when she was after she had won the hearing and she walked out of the courtroom, it just looked a little janky. No, yeah. Kind of picked up on that, but um, yeah. So She Hulk, 